Welcome back to Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. The Gophers rushed for over 200 yards against Western Illinois, and they held the Leathernecks to only 68 yards on the ground. To take us through the top plays from week three, Mike Max joins Coach Clays in the film room. Thanks, Natalie. As we break down the tape each and every week, we start with the Gopher offense. We talked about it in the first segment a little bit, and that is the read option. When you read it right, good things happen. Mitch Leidner comes in and obviously he's well conditioned in this his second year although there was a lot of scout team last year yeah. but he made the right read for a big play no question you know here we get to the last 10 minutes of the ball game and you have the leads by more than one score you know it makes things a lot easier if you can run the football and here we get in a little three back set and and uh we come back the, the thing about it, this is what i was talking about is on the read option is that you do have a chance when you want to determine to hand the ball off to actually block the read and that's what Max is doing here. He's actually blocking the read. We're in a position of the game there's no sense in letting Mitch take a chance of getting yeah. carried in that but everything else is the same as far as the play goes. Roderick he's got a front or backside. He does a great job of seeing the color jump in the gap and jump backside yeah. on it. Um, that's really this guy's in a tough position. He's got to decide which side he's going to go and, and um, he makes the wrong decision. It's a great cut. And then from there, you know, I don't think Roderick gets the credit for his speed. He runs yeah, very well. Yeah, he's faster well. than you think when you watch this. Yeah, especially know? for how big he is. And But, you know, I talk about Mitch Leitner being a great competitor. And, I mean, that guy is hustling down the field, and he's going to be the first one to meet My him gosh, down there. My gosh, he shows know? up at the pylon. So, no no question. So, uh, you know, a little end zone caught, just so you can kind of see what Roderick's seeing here. But, again, we're going to block the read. We're going to take that off of him, you know. And there you go, right out the back door. So it's a great vision on his part. I think that's something that running backs have. It's hard to coach that. Yeah, and, you recruit uh, it, you don't coach it, It's right? exactly right. You do your work during recruiting and uh, uh, a great job uh, by the offense of taking advantage of what they're giving us. Defensive side of the ball, a little bit later I want to ask you about Rashid Agaman and the personality transformation that you've seen as he's become a leader of this team. But on this play, is this just all about being a football player? This is all about recognized on the power part of every pass rush starts with a bull rush. We, we did this this week because people are doubling him, and I think he got excited because we're finally going to we're going to play him on the edge a little bit more in yep. pass situations and make people one on one. When you have a guy as big as him and strong, it's hard not to stop him. And and I mean, what great effort when the flag went down. Now I was concerned because the rule says if you lose your helmet, you're supposed to stop playing or it's a penalty. And so I'm like, well, I hope they threw that penalty on hands of the face and not because Rashid didn't stop. Yeah, that's you a know? tricky penalty, man. Y yes, it is. And and so, uh, but no, the official said he was still in his continuous motion, so it wasn't on him. But, you know, they tell you, hey, you're supposed to stop, and uh, that's hard to do. But, boy, what great effort. And uh, collapse the pocket, was able to get off the off the block. I mean, TC even here on the backside, if he scrambles very much, he's yeah. gotten free. So, I mean, I, I think we've improved in that area. I was really disappointed in the the first game, the way we handled our pass rush lanes. And, and I mean, we just was very disorganized, not very disciplined. And so the kids played well. And when you can get a rush with three people, obviously it makes it easier to cover all those guys in the back end. Indeed it does. Thank you very much, Coach. When we return, we will revisit the film room to find out how the Gophers are preparing for San Jose State. What's so hard about this with the two linebackers is you put this guy on an island, and if the back just sees him and makes a cut off that backer, we should be able to get some yardage. 